Oh, no. <clears throat> All right, here's my dungeon and another illustrated caverns of hunger. Just one room in here. Oh, good yikes! No, some kind of zombie slime with a dash attack. Okay. And poison, of course. I don't think you've heard Ish laugh on stream before. It's because I'm not entertaining! <laughs> okay, another Archangel Ventricle. Order of a heart. Two of four for an extra heart. And also poison and, and dying. Do I have anything to save me from that? Perhaps. Speed, fire, strength. That's yeah, not good. No, I don't want to use it. No. I didn't want to use it. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, wait, maybe bombs can save me. Art? Art. Oof. <laughs> there are two ladders out of this room. That is, uh... Yeah, so the dungeons in this game are all, uh... Procedurally generated. So strange and mysterious things might happen. Like this is definitely not where I came in. And yet... Wait, what? Ah, we're good. Yeah, sure. Let's just go in the dungeon. <laughs> Obelisk of the Aged Miracle of Eret? Is that what that said? It went very fast. Is this a noose? A lasso. Stuns enemies and pulls items to war you. <laughs> oh, good Smurf! That's interesting. <laughs> like. Doesn't work with the pumpkin. Okay, I do have a map, but it's a wow, it's getting big. can have it. Hello. Mm. <laughs> oh no! I just knocked out my own pumpkin. I didn't mean for it to happen. That didn't work out the way I would have liked. What the? <laughs> hey, it's Korax. How you doing out there, sweetheart? <laughs> mm -hmm. I am failing horribly. 
<laughs> and Ish, how are you? Meh. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> okay, so to not die in here, I guess I don't want to be. Oh. I guess they're just not going to give me that one again. Two of your favorite beasts. <laughs> okay, that can shoot over that. Okay, fine. Ooh. Does this work? Y'all ain't supposed to exist in the water. Oh, well. <laughs> There's one more. Come on. Amulet of strength. Lift heavy objects. Is that something I equip? No. Okay, what counts as a heavy object? Is it the skulls? It's the skulls, okay. Hmm. Okay, my pumpkin is still dead. Twitter wanna go, let's go left. <laughs> ah! Don't go fast. Get stunned. <clears throat> hey, another book! I have eight of them. You love the mask, thank you. <laughs> Tombs and Tentacles by PH Craft Love and GG Ernest. Tombs and Tentacles is an eldritch horror game that you can play with your friends. It is dis directly inspired by the works of PH Craft Love. I wonder who he is. The game requires one Tomb Master, TM, who controls the game world and the non player characters, NPCs. The player characters are normally controlled by two or more players, but certain scenarios, if the TM is prepared, can be played by a single character on their own. As is the fashion for Craft Love's horror stories, there are no happy endings. Be prepared to die, or worse, in many different ways. For a free demonstration of Tombs and Tentacles, call 555-6666. Ernest will answer the call and act as the TM for you while you decide what your player character will do. A common criticism of the game is that its rules are very complex, sometimes requiring non-integer sided dice. This is unavoidable due to the nature of the game. Each of the four player characters available in the demo have four stats. These are printed here for your convenience. Jerry, a human waiter. Height 1, Speed 1, Sanity 10, Intelligence 5. Sally, a human telemarketer. Might 10, Speed 3, Sanity 5, Intelligence 10. James, a human janitor. Tamsin, a squid slash sports ball player. Note that although Jerry's might and speed stats are the lowest in the game, he can augment these by stacking plates. This comes at the cost of some sanity. <laughs> when played well, he is the most powerful character available. Hmm. Does that mean I can call that phone number now? <laughs> Can't. Wow. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You call the Elder? Defeat the evil within the four dungeons, yeah. <laughs> kind of weirded out by that. Alright, so we can go further down. Ice Dome of Envy. Okay. <laughs> I can just throw these things. Hopefully they don't like keep monsters inside. NV? Is it the Ice Dome of Nevada? Or is that what it showed? <laughs> That's not gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work either. Oh, guess it did. Never mind. 
Hmm. Okay, so there's an exit up. And there's an exit north. This will be the bonus uh, thing. No! Ring, ring. Hi, Lena. Have you found my books? Wow, you found quite a few. You plan to visit the library anytime soon? Because ISBN thinking about you. <laughs> Looks like your next dungeon is the Father Poi's Reservoir in the north. Archangel Atrium. Quarter of the heart. Three out of four. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna try the other, the other ladder. Hmm. <laughs> well, okay, back in the obelisk of the aged miracle of Eret, but now we're on the other side. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, what do we got over here? Mm. Orange silk tunic. Wear it to find out what it does. That's not ominous at all. Come on. I will learn to navigate the menu eventually. I think I put it on automatically. Nope, didn't. It was a frugal tunic. Gives you a chance of finding extra money. Okay. I'm fine with this. Okay. Wait, is this where I is where I came in? Okay. All right. There's a boss in here somewhere. Oof. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Can't get over there to... I don't think that the, my bombs can destroy these crystals either. No. Apparently, I need yet another item. <laughs> Alright, so we're really relying on these sub levels the Great Tomb of Pride. Give me some things. <laughs> it was an item. Wait. In the room above me? After I destroyed the green gym? Oh yeah, there was. 100 blocks! Well, 100 cents, I guess. Hooray! Thank you. At least I can't see everything properly sometimes. That was just corn. Okay. Ooh. Hey, nope. All right. I have four or four parts needed for an extra heart. Archangel heart. The patchwork heart permanently increases your fortitude. There you go. Okay, give me... If you have a heart, I could give my poor suffering pumpkin. There you go. <laughs> It's the mask now. <laughs> Bark. Mm. Okay, so I guess I need to go back around the other way, but not 
after we're in that cave. Arf. No! Push these fellas out of the way. These guys will just skip past. Okay. Alright, so just going up from here. Pick it up! There you go. Gordon is grinning. <laughs> Alright, so we have up and right. Still have no idea what's good. I have no idea if they hide anything special under this other than coins and hearts. Skunk mask. Ooh. That'd be something. <laughs> like sometimes they just end up dunked in the water. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's straightforward. Okay. All right. What does beating this get? Ah, the key. Blue key, perfect fit for a blue door. <laughs> okay. Dungeon map. Now you can see where all the treasure is. Oh yeah. Alright. So it's just a couple rooms down. Okay. This game is very strongly hinted at, uh, like, pacifisting these people, but I have... Everything I've tried, nothing seems to work. Archangel Hedraniel. Rock Noggin. You're not her. I'm not a fan of this. <laughs> oh, I can throw those. Wow. Literally just throwing everything out there, aren't you? Hey! Whoa! Ah! You can't just throw all of yourself at me. What? What? <laughs> what? Archangel Heart. Eating this heart permanently increases your fortitude. That's wrong. Corrupted memory number two was restored. Pizza. You did well today, Tim Talukas. How about we order some pizza as a treat? Pizza, yeah! I defeated this fella already. When you're feeling down and you need anesthesia, just give us a call, we're Triomino's Pizza. Triple five, forty-five, forty-five, calls only ten cents per minute. 
terms and conditions may apply. <laughs> you should hide before they get here. No! Oh. <laughs> Let me eat you! <laughs> Human? Sorry, Tentalucas. No treat today. But don't fret. One day soon, the world will be ours. And then you can eat all the delivery people you want! <laughs> okay. <laughs> um.